Hello, very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome. So, in our previous class, we have understood a lot of things about escalator, right? Yes, so we did stop uh, in this particular slide, which wherein we were trying to understand the location or the placement of an escalator. So now proceeding further, we will be understanding different types of escalators in its formation. Okay, the first one is the step type escalator that we generally happen to see in the large public areas. And second one is wheelchair accessible escalator. And third one is spiral escalator. And fourth one is levitator. Okay. So these are the different types of escalators that are generally used uh, in the industry and this is more or less just like an information for you guys to know what is available in the industry. Okay, otherwise the ones that we are generally studying is the step type of escalator. Okay, yeah. So coming to the arrangement uh, in an escalator because you know how an escalator looks so now you need to understand you know which kind or which formation of an arrangement is possible with an escalator system and also which one is the best to what purpose uh, or which type of uh, formation is best suited to which function or something as a designer one has to understand okay so proceeding we have escalator arrangement uh, generally they are classified into two one is parallel arrangement second one is the crisscross so we also have sub uh, categories then under the parallel arrangement we have spiral parallel and stacked parallel okay so next under crisscross we have spiral crisscross and spiral uh, and walk around crisscross okay so let's understand this typologies or arrangement patterns as how they work yeah so this is the first type where we call it as a parallel arrangement system the word itself is self-explanatory uh, like you know though these are where you know uh, the escalators are kept one beside the other in a parallel arrangement formation along the same direction okay so if you do that what happens these escalators use more floor space compared to the other arrangements you will understand the other arrangements shortly okay and also when you as soon as you enter any building when you see like you know so many parallel escalators kept one beside the other it will be also not so impressive right so we should also understand as a designer what are the patterns that we can arrive how you can group it and place it and other things are also something one has to keep in mind okay so yes and majorly you know these parallel escalators are commonly used in the public buildings like malls metro stations and public buildings because people keep moving from one direction to other direction in a huge mass crowd so so it has to be directional is what we spoke earlier right so that, keeping that in mind in the in such locations it is very efficient okay so under this we had subdivisions also remember right so we have spiral parallel so what is spiral parallel you can see here you can see the image so we take a ride from one floor to another and immediately we turn just beside this we have one more flight of escalator that goes to another floor so this is what it means when we say spiral parallel escalator so this is the spiral thing formation that happens and that are kept one parallel to another i hope you got it the ride is taken in a spiral formation but the fragments are arranged in parallel when you see this on plan 
okay so what happens here in this parallel in the spiral parallel escalator in the arrangements you are forced to walk around and these are installed at places which has a too long waiting area okay so you are forced to you know go if you want to go from uh, odd floor to an odd floor or even floor to an even floor you are forced to you know move take a turn and then go again on top of that correct so this is what it says correct so these are also used in places like malls metro stations and also in certain other public buildings like libraries etc for all you know uh, whereas in public buildings or any other heavy traffic area they are found easily which all move in the same direction okay so so that is the reason uh, that and moreover the stack parallel escalator uh, is an option where we uh, you know we happen to reverse the thing which we will be understanding in the next thing yeah so this is what we call it as a stack parallel arrangement okay so in this type uh, the user is also you know forced to walk around this floor and then take the next flight do you get it so if i'm on the ground floor and if i have to go to upper floor if it is only to the first floor fine you can just take this flight but in case if you want to reach an alternate floor then you climb to the first floor then go walk around and then take the second flight okay meaning your riding trip is too long and it could be also annoying for some of the user group okay uh, yes these are also used in public buildings you know where mostly limited to few very couple of stories three or four something like that okay so in public buildings transportation buildings and other heavy traffic areas they are easy to see and may all go in the same direction it is just that you need to follow the crowd and go ahead that's it okay so here the stack parallel escalator offer the option of reversing direction during rush hours when everyone is going in the same way so as you see here uh, if i am using this building during peak hours my main intention is to go to upper floors correct so my direction is going from my circulation pattern goes from lower level to upper level always so du during the morning hours so in case during evening hours post office hours we can reverse this the same escalator uh, system can have a reverse direction so you after your everyone's work is finished you come down and take the reverse direction so you can also plan and time it in such a way the action or the movement of the escalator can be determine and also facilitated according to the function and time as what it says okay so something like that is also possible yeah so next typology is a uh, criss cross arrangement of, of an escalator criss cross arrangement this is for you my guys must have been pretty familiar by the term criss cross so when we say criss cross it is the formation of an x correct yeah so this is as you see in the image you can see the escalators that are placed one beside the other but they are in criss cross formation okay so when you see this what you can think about the patterns pattern number 1 both of them can be up so either from the ground floor i can come from two different entrances but still i can go to the first floor immediately without having a roundabout okay that is pattern number 1 pattern number 2 is you can guide the uh, crowd and make one up and later the other one down so this is pattern number 2 so you as a designer can specify the movement for an escalator in the criss cross is that all right clear okay so proceeding ahead 
we have a spiral crisscross and that is what we understood in the previous slide so if you see the image we know what the spiral formation is so we i climb up from one floor to another in a spiral formation correct correct yes my pattern of movement is in spiral formation from one floor to another and arrangement of the escalator is in form of crisscross there are two things coming from one floor to another carefully if you see the image you will understand this okay so the spiral parallel escalator are the arrangement which forces the user to walk around these uh, as uh, these are installed at places which has a too long waiting area okay the facility of walking around saves of the user from being annoyed because they are very closely spaced it is very easy to quickly move from one place to another either you go up or go down you can quickly decide and you can either choose either one of it okay this is what it means all again escalators are used in metro stations the malls you can find this pattern and moreover all these patterns are purely dependent on the crowd capacity and the circulation pattern we have understood the designing parameters also in the previous slide right yes so you can also see in the criss cross pattern what you could do here okay so carefully observe the image it is very very sensitive and one has to be careful in understanding the difference okay so this under in this pattern i climb up okay and again i can immediately climb up got it yes shall i repeat if i have to go to upper floor my flight i can take this flight up and again i will take this flight up i just need to turn i have my immediate flight okay that is to go up in line with that i have one more escalator in a spiral formation wherein i go down and turn and immediately i have one more escalator to go down clear you can see this arrow marks for a better clarity okay so this is how i can use the space very effectively with a short uh, area i can move people from one point to another so both up and down is possible okay clear yes so next we have the spiral and walk around criss cross escalator okay so you have to be be very very careful in understanding this let's come to the uh, pattern here so this looks very similar to what you saw previously but be careful and understand the arrow marks very carefully okay so see here i go up please be with me i'm going up okay but i cannot go up immediately over here this is my down so what i have to do i have to do a round about or a walk around and then take my next flight so these are stacked the movement is stacked here okay i will repeat i climb up from ground floor to first floor and if i have to go from first floor to second floor i have to go a walk around and then take another flight from the first floor to second floor this is pat this pattern is again repeated in a same way to your down escalator okay so you have to come down and again take a walk around and again come down so this is what it means the diagram looks very same for both of them but be careful when it comes to the understanding and the movement pattern of people using the escalator okay clear yes so this will be about you know understanding the escalator formations or patterns or arrangements 
okay so let's meet up in the next video to understand more about our further topics thank you guys see you